Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Downback Fishing. Uh, I think today's episode is going to be kind of short because we haven't had that great of luck. But we got this real nice rainbow this right is here. The first fish of the day. Yeah, first fish of the day. It's about probably, what is it, 10, 11? Yeah, somewhere um, in there. It's been really super slow. We've only had a few uh, uh, fish. I mean, I, a few flags. I caught this one on uh, yeah, mine right here. And it's also caught on that one right there. Yeah, we had two. They ran into two. This uh, tip up was completely spooled. And it also ate the shiner from that tip of way over there. Uh, it's never happened to me before. Uh, this fish entails both hooks. Um, so we're going to keep this fish for dinner. We don't usually keep fish. Um, but in this case, this guy was pretty well wrecked. Um, we're going to eat it for dinner so it doesn't go to waste. Um, we usually like to catch and release, but today I just got this real nice brookie, probably about 12 inches long. Um, nice fat stomach on it, beautiful coloration. Uh, it's stocked by the state of Massachusetts um, in a, this lake that we're fishing at. Uh, we've caught this trout and a rainbow. It's been a really, really slow day. Um, since we're keeping that one, we're going to keep this one too. Uh, these are stocked by the state, so they're not uh, native or endangered. Um, I usually like to catch and release, but if we're gonna fry up one fish, we might as well get a meal out of it. Back. Connor just got this nice little bass. Where are you using? Uh, that's his second bass out of this hole. Yeah, he, uh, we just started jigging. It's been a real slow day, but he's got two nice bass. Yeah, that one's smaller than the other one. Not bad fish. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time since our last flag, but we just got two at the same time. Let's see if we got it. it. Feels pretty decent. Don't not drop it. <laughs> doesn't feel very huge, but it feels decent. Hopefully it's a trout. Yeah, I'd really like a trout right now. Here's the button. Rainbow, rainbow. Oh no, it's a little bass. <laughs> Look at the, all the slush in his mouth. Not a bad little fish. But, alright, we'll get back to you with that uh, next fight. Guys, Connor's got a nice fish on, I guess. Took out a ton of line. Wow. Watch out, he's coming inside of the hole. Oh, nice look. Wow, that's a nice bass for this pond. He's probably a solid pound, pound and quarter. Nice fish. Oh, he swallowed the hook. Swallowed the hook. Alright, well, that's not a big deal. We can get it out. Uh, we're going to get a picture of this guy, because this is a pretty decent fish for this pond. Uh, so, we're gonna get a picture and let it go. I just caught this nice pickerel, probably about 15, 16 inches. My flash came on, caught some. Uh, nice little fish, caught on a tip up. Oh, nice man. Who's the one dropping the fish now? <laughs> I didn't let it drop, I caught it. Alright, nice little fish. Let's see if we can catch a few more. Hey guys, uh, we're finishing up the night here, and my friend Connor just caught this massive brown trout. It's three pounds. Uh, well, close to three pounds. Uh, it's 20 and three quarters inches. Probably has a nine inch, ten inch girth on it. It's pretty massive. I caught it on a tip up. Uh, great fish, great fish. Uh, great way to the end, end the night. We're gonna keep this fish uh, to get a state pin for it for Massachusetts uh, Mass Wildlife. Uh, it's a cool opportunity to get some awards for some fish. Uh, probably gonna keep. We're gonna keep this get it weighed in and then probably cook it up or something so uh thanks for watching this episode of down back fishing and uh stay tuned for some more episodes